Yo, what's up guys? In this tutorial, we will learn how to make this really cool looking splash animation in After Effects. And we don't need any plugins for this one, and it's super simple. It's basically just one effect, and yeah, you can use this wherever you like basically. So I'd say let's just go. So let's go into our new composition, and I just made it in the background. But yeah, let's add a new solid, and you can already put in some color that you want the splash to be later. So I'll just go with a dark gray for this example, but you can change this afterwards of course. And now let's add the only and most important effect, which is the CC Mr. Mercury effect, which you can just find under simulation. And yeah, let's just apply it to our new solid. And now if we play this, we can see this already looks kinda cool, but of course not how we want it to look like. So let's play around with a few settings and first of all we want these drops or whatever you call it to get smaller with the time and just vanish. So let's put the depth size to zero. So basically the, the size goes to zero over time. And let's put the birth size to something like 0.4 or 5. So as we can see it starts big and then gets smaller with the time. And yeah we don't want this to fall down of course because we want this more splashy animation, so let's change the gravity to zero and now it goes in all directions and yeah this looks already super cool but we want it to stop really fast so just one splash and not a continuous flow so let's go to the beginning and put in uh, let's change the birth rate to something like three and put in a keyframe and then just go forward a few frames on the timeline and put it down to zero. So here the animation just stops and basically we just get, yeah, this this thing. But let's see, this is a little bit, um, this is not enough. So let's open this up and change the settings again real quick. So as you can see, if we put the second frame, uh, the second keyframe more to the right, we can actually, yeah, make this a bit longer, this looks cool, or we can change the first keyframe to a higher birth rate, something like 5, and now there will be more of these particles, and yeah, you can just play around with this, so first one, how far the second keyframe is away, will determine how long particles will come from the center, and the first keyframe will just determine how, yeah, how many there will be at the beginning. But yeah, I think this is a super cool result. And yeah, if you don't want these shade effects, you can just add another fill effect here. So this will make it just complete two-dimensional and no shading. And yeah, this might look better in motion graphic projects, but this is completely up to you. And of course, in here you can also change the color or yeah, just give it whatever you like. Okay, this looks stupid, but yeah. You can just play around with a few settings and yeah, that's it already. Thanks for watching.